We're back with another Andrew Tate video. Andrew Tate. And I haven't seen this one either, so this will be good. Hey, if you got a video you personally want to send me for me to react to, click the Discord link in the bio. Heated argument. Let's yeah. see. Let's see. No, Feminist. Huh? You, all right. All right. You're, you're also known. You said it, it appears widely sexist stuff. Are you anti-woman? I love women. In fact, interesting statistic. 100% of the people I've ever had sex with were women. So I, I love women. I have nothing against women at all. I'm not sexist in any regard. I'm not misogynist either. I'm a, I'm a realist. Like, I'm a realistic person. As a realist, in the modern world, they're going to call you sexist, misogynist, etc. But I'm none of those things. I am just... Why, why do they call you that? Why do they call you that? Because, because I like, say... What do you think <laughs> it is that you say that makes people think you're, like, sexist? Because I say the truth. Which is? Uh, women can't fight. Men are stronger. <laughs> like, base... Obvious. It's more true things. I, I think another thing I said is I said, and, and maybe I'll upset the ladies on the podcast. I hope not, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Probably will. I said if I were to get on a plane and I were to, that plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane and there was a 50% chance of it crashing, I'd want a male pilot because I think that males are better under stress and under pressure. I think they're less likely to get emotional in, the, in, the, in a life or death situation. That's why they make better soldiers. That doesn't mean I'm, that doesn't make me misogynist. That doesn't make me sexist. That's just true. Women are better at other things than men. And I'll sit here and say women are better at X. But I will say that men are better at Y. I'm not going to sit and pretend that, that we're all the same. We're not. Under pressure, when your life is on the line, anyone, with a, anyone who's honest would want a male pilot in said situation. You would not want a female pilot. Uh, so I disagree with that. I think that's a person by person. But I agree with men are stronger than women. I don't think anyone can argue that. Um, if you, you're telling me if you were to fly into a hurricane... And you had the choice between a male pilot and a female pilot. You wouldn't have zero preference at all, Dave. Not Tell knowing, you not knowing anything about either of them. They're both pro pilots. No, I wouldn't. I would not talk about dunking a basketball. Well, I would <laughs> choose a man because I know from my own personal experiences that when shit hits the fan and emotions are high and it's life or death, that the man is more likely to remain calm. And mm. calm is what's going to keep me alive. So I would choose the man. For the same reason, I would choose women to do other things. Let me give you another example then, Dave. If gender roles aren't real, and you're now... No, I think there are gender roles are real. That particular example, though, I, I'm sure you can have great female pilots. I never said you couldn't. I said I'd choose a man in that particular that's situation. Fair. I don't think that's like... I don't know about Brie and O'Malley. Like, that doesn't make... Yeah, Brie O'Malley, thing, do you think that's like... Do you think, call that like super sexist? Or where, where are you guys... Well, at? I think it's like with what Dave said, too. I think it depends on the person. Like, there could be a way more emotional pilot that's a male... And then a female one that could be more emotionally stronger. But regardless, they go the same about, training. Yeah, I think he's saying you don't know anything about the pilot. It, you just can pick blind. Yeah, you know, well, obviously, male or female. I disagree with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, general, it's a generalization because exceptions don't disprove the rule. You're but right. I don't think that makes you like Satan for saying that. No, we also said that you could have multiple partners, but a female that was with you couldn't also have multiple partners. Well, a woman could say that same thing if she decided. She could say, I can sleep with multiple men, but my men can't sleep with multiple women if she so choose. We're all free individuals, right? Yeah, but you, don't, would you wouldn't agree if a woman said that. I don't think, I, I would personally find that revolting, correct? But there are women who find what I say revolting. <laughs> so you're not telling other people what to think. You're just saying how you think. Yeah, I mean, if I, I think that, a, I think if a man is, uh, sexual, is not sexually exclusive, it's not the same as if a woman is. Because with a woman, you have the paternity issue. With a man, you don't have a paternity issue. If I have three girlfriends and, and they all get pregnant, we know who the mother and who the father is. If you have one woman and three men, you don't know who even the parents are if she got pregnant. So it's a whole big issue, right? Science can step Why? in and yeah, fix it. But it's a good stuff. DNA tests are pretty accessible nowadays. Of course, yeah. That's exactly it. So I said science can step in and fix it, but that doesn't mean it's not haram and against the will of God. Look, read the Bible. Every single man had multiple wives. Not a single woman had multiple husbands. It's against the will of God. It's disgusting. Ooh, he didn't write the the God in that that would assume that if you're going in this multi-universe where everybody's reading the Bible, which is <laughs> there's different religions all across the globe, reading different things, believing different things. He's uh, not wrong though. It's right. He, he's not wrong. He's not wrong about the whole pilot thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they're gonna hate me for saying this. So. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> he's not wrong because. We are emotional. Yeah. We are emotional. And men tend to not be emotional. That's why we don't like y'all sometimes. <laughs> because <laughs> y'all don't show emotion when we want y'all to. Yeah. You know, sure. um, so 
That's the way it is. So he's not wrong. But now, like he said, there are exceptions to every rule. There are women pilots who can stay calm in, in the eye of a hurricane, I'm sure, and fly, you know, they in the military, they've done combat missions or whatever, whatever. But like he said, that's what he would choose because on average he thinks that yeah. men are like generally, that's the general generally you would choose calm. And I get that. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I get that. Trust him. Interest him. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, what my, my point is, if we talk about tradition, we talk about, I'm not even talking about myself here. This is not about my personal life. We're talking traditional. Traditionally, every single man in history had multiple wives, and there was not a single woman who was celebrated for having multiple husbands. Female promiscuity has always been disgusted and frowned. Megan the Stallion is. In every single book. <laughs> not husbands, but you know what I'm just saying, dude. So yeah. Cardi B, everybody love them, right? That's what they do now. I'm just saying. It's celebrated now. By other girls, by other women. Oh, it was not celebrated by men? No. But y'all celebrated. Who was y'all? Y'all men. Y'all have multiple. All the the who are the men? Drake. All oh, the, yeah, all the yeah. entertainers. I mean, that's just what Same it is. status level, but they can have all these women, and it's. I mean, okay. girls can do it too, but I'm saying ain't nobody gonna wanna take them. Y'all still sleep with them. Yo, but if you ain't finna. Y'all gonna sleep with them? It don't matter how many men they got. Yeah, that's true. But we we talking about we talking about respect. Like, no, we talking about like wifing like. That's not wife. Y'all don't wipe nobody anyway. Y'all can get the, the most true. humblest, little quiet, church mouse girl. And then y'all still go out there and cheat with the thot, thot, thot. And then be with who? The thot, thot, thot. But we saying we gonna wife. But you gonna wipe me, but you gonna cheat on me with the thot. <laughs> Back to the video. <laughs> ever written, ever, in all of history, in all cultures, ever, women were supposed to be virgins. Women sleep with lots and lots and lots of men has never been celebrated, ever. Besides, in the last 40 years in the West, in a degrading society. Well, yeah, okay, cool. But if you're going to look at it traditionally, traditionally, women were not supposed to act that way. And I don't think women want to act that way anyway. I don't think women intrinsically want to fuck a little bunch of people. I don't think <laughs> you want to fuck people. Well, the women I know don't want to. When I, meet a, when I meet a woman, she doesn't say, I can't wait to get out there and sleep with a bunch of dudes. Maybe there are some. I don't oh, know. Don't want there's to. definitely, like, cleat chasers who fucking love that. Oh, yeah, there's got to be some girls out there that are just yes. all about Lots. it. Lots. Girls yeah. like sex as much as guys. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. They watch porn. And they don't care about their reputation. True. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> I will agree yeah. with that. But it, it ain't the same, though, because, cause I, because I feel like... No, no, it, it would never be the same because a woman is supposed to be held in high esteem, yeah. a virtuous woman. So, And he's right. In the, Bible, in the biblical days, you know, you... The the men did have multiple wives, so click on next video. <laughs> <laughs> nice and silky smooth.